Hey everyone, in this video we're just going to look at how to make pixel art in Photoshop. So I'll try and keep this one quite basic. We're going to start by opening Photoshop and selecting create new. And I've already got my numbers input here, but what we're going to do is we're going to select pixels from this drop down. And I'm going to use 32 by 32 pixels for this video. Obviously you can go bigger than this if you want a bigger canvas. And the resolution is sometimes at 300 by default, but 72 will be fine for this. You shouldn't need to change anything else and hit create. As you can see, we are left with this very small canvas, so you're going to want to zoom in a little bit. The next step for us is going to be to actually get a grid on screen. So there's two methods of doing this. The fastest and easiest way to get this would just be to colour our background a little bit. So it doesn't show up when it's white. But if I was to darken this a little bit by painting on it using the fill tool or just pressing Ctrl and U with my background selected, from here, I can darken this just by dragging the lightness slider along. And you can see that's made a white grid visible. From there, hit OK. That's definitely the quickest way to start. If you want to work with a white background, what we need to do is come up to view along this top panel. From here, we need to find show. And from here, you can see that there's a tick next to everything that is already shown. Here, pixel grid is already ticked. That's the grid we just looked at that you can't see while the background is white. But there is just a regular grid option here. So if we turn that on, I've already got mine set up here from working on it earlier. Yours might look a bit different at first. So to change the settings, you would come up to edit along the top panel, preferences along the bottom, and one of these should say guides, grid and slices. So you can see this brings up some options. All we need to know is this grid section here. Make sure this drop down is set to pixels and change your grid line to one. Aside from that, change subdivisions to one as well. So if you just copy those settings on my screen, obviously you don't have to use the red color. You could change that to black, for example, and then select OK. So this is just a different option if you want to work with a white background. And of course, you don't have to have a grid at all if you don't want one. Moving on, we actually want to start drawing or painting onto this. So the first thing I would do is create a new layer in the bottom right corner. All this means is that if anything goes wrong, I haven't done it on the background layer but it's not needed. For those of you that are already digital painters, you will probably be used to using the brush tool in Photoshop by selecting B on your keyboard or finding this icon here on the left hand panel. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with using this as you would normally in your paintings. But as you can see there, it gives quite a blurry effect just because of the brush type. So what we're gonna do is first of all, get rid of that. We're gonna right click on the brush panel and this time select the pencil tool. And you'll have an icon like this to show where you're going to draw. I would advise putting this down just to one pixel. You can see this in the top left corner here that you can turn your brush or pencil size up and down. Like so. So I've put that down to one and you can see we are just drawing one pixel at a time. Of course you can use the colour picker to select any colour you want and start to draw your image. Nice and easy. One thing to bear in mind though, if you swap to your eraser by pressing E on your keyboard or selecting this button on the left panel here, like before, this is using a brush by default and gives us quite a blurry effect or quite a soft edged eraser. So what we need to do is select this drop down along the top panel that says mode. You can see it's set to brush by default. Select pencil. Again, you can select the size. So if we go for one pixel here, you can see how we are erasing just a single block, a single pixel at a time. So I'm going to work on something in the background now. I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to sit through it. Just because of the way that I'm used to painting though, I'm going to do these on individual layers. So I'm going to do two characters that you might recognize. I'm going to do the line art or the black pixels in this case on their own layer and then a layer below those with the color on. Completely optional. It's just the way that I'm used to working. And I'll put a link in the description box below on a basic video that I've got about layers for those that are interested. So I'm going to call that finished. But before we can save that, we have to remember this is a tiny image. So what we need to do is make this bigger. So along this top panel, we're going to select image and then image size. So these are the settings that we input at the beginning. I don't have an exact figure in mind. So let's go for 640 by 640 pixels. You can change them again if they're not big enough for what you want. But we need to make sure that from this drop down here, we have nearest neighbor hard edges selected. If you have this set to automatic, you can see in the preview there, things get quite blurry. 
So to keep this sharp, again, make sure that nearest neighbor, hard edges is selected and press OK. So it's made the image quite large now, so we need to zoom out a little bit. And now the image is ready to save. So along the top panel, we're going to select File, Save As, type in a name. And from there, you can either save as a Photoshop file as default, which means those layers will be saved if you ever want to go back and edit them. Or we can change it to a more regular image like JPEG, for example. So once you're happy, select Save. I'll keep the quality on the highest and select OK. And that's it, we're done. So there's my JPEG image saved there. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I'd love to know in the comments below if you want to see more pixel art videos. If you did enjoy this video or find it useful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching, everyone.